Welcome to the Teacher Tech Tip. Technology tips for success in five minutes or less. In this Teacher Tech Tip, I'm going to talk about controlling collaborative hyperdocs. And so here I have an example hyperdoc. I shared it with a class. Uh, here they were supposed to just work in groups. As you can see, I have different groups set up so that way it's not so uh, busy and students fighting over space. They just had a red group, green group, blue group, and so on. And so they had their specific groups and this is where they could record some brainstorming ideas. That's all this was for. But then what I want to do is I want to freeze the document afterward and want to make it that they can't change the brainstorming ideas, but maybe they can add comments. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do that through Google Classroom. So here we go. I'm going to first hit the share to classroom button. I love sharing documents and whatnot through or creating my assignments through the share to classroom button. All right, and I'm going to set the document title. I'm going to say brainstorming hyperdoc. And I'm going to say it's due at no time. I'm going to set no date. And I'm going to change this to allowing them to edit the file so that way we can collaborate on it. I'm going to go ahead and assign it. Okay, now what the students would receive then is they would go to, they click on it, and they can all collaborate and jot down their ideas in this document all together. All right, now that the students have access to it, they would work on it and, and come up with their brainstorming ideas, collaborate together, and then when the teacher wants to shut off access, but not necessarily completely shut off access, I'm going to switch back to my teacher view here. All the teacher has to do is click on the share button, see who it is shared with by clicking on the shared with. And when you share through Google Classroom, it does it with groups, not the indiv individual users. So when I click on shared with groups, I can go specifically to that group. This is the teacher one, and this is the student one. The top one is always the teacher one. And I'm going to just set this person, this group, as can comment. And then I'm going to save my changes. Once I've done that, and I hit done, then if I switch back to my student, it'll say you no longer have permission to access this document. I'm going to reload it. Um, you, they still do have access to the document, but all they have is comment accessing. Okay, so now that the student is only a comment, it actually sets them as suggesting. They can't change the original integrity of the document, but they can make other suggestions. So they can say, I want to add more to this part, like so. Okay, and now this is suggested, and you can see that it's clearly defined, and then the teacher can actually go back in, and they can hit the check mark to accept this suggestion. Uh, the other thing that the student can do is add their own comments. And so all they have to do is click on a space, hit Control alt m and they can add comments to the document, like so. And that is how you can close off collaboration on a document very quickly. So that way you don't destroy the original integrity of your collaborative experience. Welcome to the Teacher Tech Tip. Technology tips for success in five minutes or less.